Hey everybody, this is Angelic Displays and today I'll be making a tutorial on how to make these pre-made canister shell casings. This right here is a 1.75 inch canister shell casing for consumer mortar. It's 1.5 inches ID, 1 and 5 8 inches OD, and 1 16th inch thick. It's pretty sturdy and flexible at the same time. This is a 2.5 inch canister casing. It's two and a quarter inches ID, two and three eight inches OD, and one sixteenth inch thick. This is a three inch canister shell casing. It's two point five inches ID, two and five eight inches OD, and one sixteenth inch thick. This one right here has a cap on it. I was gonna make a shell, but decided to wait. Um. So today we're going to make a tutorial on how to make these for your stars. What you'll need for this is uh, some wheat paste, a brush, a caliper, some wax paper. This wax paper has been cut to three and a half inches width by 12 inches length. Your paper that's been cut to three inches width by 24 inches length something to cut your paper with. You can use scissors. I just use this because it gives me straight cuts. And a case former. In this instance this is a PVC pipe and some duct tape that's been used to make a two and a half inch case former. So without any further ado, let's get started. I found out that uh making your own shell casings is economical especially when you're starting off um, and it's basically free the only thing you gotta buy is the the flour to make your wheat paste start off by taking uh, one sheet of paper and um, put a nice layer of wheat paste on here I like to make my wheat paste kinda thick so uh, it makes it really strong. The more watery I think you do it, the the less uh, stronger it's going to be. So uh, I would advise to make it a little thick. So you can see mine is pretty thick. Um, yeah. So I'd like to get a nice layer of wheat paste on here. Remember that uh, this is newspaper, so the wheat paste goes through the newspaper really fast. Um, Next thing you want to do is, you want to get your case former and wrap your wax paper around the case former. You don't want to put it too tight, but just tight enough to where it'll spin. Next, you grab your paper that's got the wheat paste on it, you put it on your case former, and you make sure that there's no air pockets and you start to turn it like so making sure there's no air pockets. I like to put it on the table and turn it like this because that way for sure I know that there's no air pockets in there. Um, you want to avoid the air pockets because when the shell dries um, it'll be very ununiformed um, and that can give you problems when you build your shell because you'll have weak spots and uh, believe it or not when you're making a a canister shell it's got to be made really really precise because um, yeah it'll mess with your break uh, probably won't break right I'm not sure but uh, I'm new to this I'm new to this hobby I just started this just started building them about two or three months ago but I've done a lot of extensive research on uh, pyrotechnics for about a year now so I've bought several of the tools needed and I've made a lot of my own too I started off making uh, consumer shells like 1.75 inch round shells and I just started making these canister shells like a month ago I'm still working on them uh, I've launched a few but I live in a residential area so I really can't launch a lot around here and uh, I don't have a camera I just got my hands on one now so I will be making some tutorials or not tutorials but I'll be uh, 
videotaping the shows that I'll be launching so you'll see my work. Um, I have a friend of mine, his name is Nighthawk and Light. He's got some awesome tutorials. You have to check him out. Okay, uh, this is our second layer of paper. As you can see, I started off where I left off the first layer and I kind of put it really close but not on top because I don't want to bump and then I start rolling from there again you want to make sure that uh, it's straight uniformity is a big thing for me I like to have my things come out nice straight and even as I can I've always been like that so uh, maybe for you it won't be a big deal but I would advise to make it as uniform as possible as straight as possible and no air pocket so that you can have the best possible break you can obtain from a canister shell and like I said this is idea I got from a uh, Zambelli fireworks it was a tour that they did and the guy that was building the shell grabbed the pre-made canister shell I think it was size 4 inch and uh, it was a pre-made canister shell and I'm pretty sure it was 1 16th inch thick uh, so I got the idea from there the Chinese make some shells like this. I'm I'm not sure. I think it's Vulcan. I've seen the Vulcan disassembled on past fire and um it was no spiking, but the shell was a pre made canister shell. They just had some end caps and some discs glued on there with white glue and that was it and the shell worked great. Um like I said again, the next layer of paper, make sure that it's really close to the one you left off at. Iron it out somewhat with your finger to get them air pockets out and make sure that it's straight and uniformed. Uh, once you get like four or five layers on there, you want to get your caliper and you want to read to make sure that you're not going over what you're shooting for. Um, but one thing to look at is when you're done and you use your caliper um, or whatever you use to measure it if it says 1 16th inch thick I would advise to put one more layer of paper on there for the simple fact that when the wheat paste dries it's going to shrink and if it said 1 16th inch thick when you measured it once it dries and shrinks it's going to get a little smaller than 1 16th so I would advise to put another sheet of paper in there um, we're going to measure now after I roll it out a few times to get the mirror pockets out. You just hold it like this and you like twist it a little bit. As you can see, I told you I leave it a little. Fold this paper down because I want the measurement just of the casing, not of the wax paper itself. Wax paper is a little thick. Um, get your caliper out and you give it a measure. And this one's reading approximately 1 16th inch thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this another, another wrapping. Like I said, um, you can get all-purpose flour from anywhere. Um, stuff is really easy to make. And uh, the newspaper, I'm pretty sure you can get newspaper for free just about anywhere. Um, and it, you know, it saves you money when you're on a budget and you're making shell casings and you're experimenting with the new hobby like I am. I'm just trying to figure out new ways to make things. Uh, so, it's a pretty cheap way. I mean, you buy a bag of flour, two or three dollars, I'm not sure. And, um, the newspapers for free you can make hundreds and hundreds of shell casings for a couple of bucks can't beat that um, this is the final wrap um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this is my first tutorial ever made um, I hope it was informative I hope I was able to teach somebody something new or if they already knew it, maybe enhance it somehow, some way. Um, I will be making more tutorials in the future. Um, please comment or subscribe, 
let me know what you think if I can use a little help something I missed or whatever just keep rude comments to yourself <laughs> thanks a lot for watching um, this is done and this is what you end up with when you're done it's nice round it's perfect a little flexible yet sturdy um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial this is Angelic Display signing off.